Hello everybody, welcome to the video, my name is Crypt and this video is supposed to be a quick video, however this is one of the most important videos of this entire AI series, okay? In this video we are actually going to be using the tracking portion of our AI viewer, okay, app. Um, the AI viewer app is an app that I made for you, it's coded in Python and it's gonna allow you guys to see what your model looks like when used in game or anywhere else okay so let's go ahead so again you should have this folder over here again this is the folder that we have been working with for a very long time now so you should have this folder okay you should have your pubg folder with all your images inside of it and your labels okay again inside of images you have train val inside of labels you have the same thing okay i'm expecting that you already have all of these cool you should have resources okay with um the custom data thing okay we used this last video okay for the training portion so you should still have this there although we're not going to use it anymore but again if you want to retrain your app you should have this uh you should have tracking okay now instead of tracking over here okay you have new things okay and all of these things you can download from my discord so i'm going to show you right now all right so as you can see over here on the ai text channel okay uh, we are currently we already finished the training portion prepare for training we finished all of these right and then we have the actual training portion which i have a video here for you uh, so if you haven't done the training yet then you can go to part three and there's a video there for you explaining you how to do everything okay all right cool so now we are going to be doing the part six which is viewing detections okay now first thing you need to do is obtain the ai viewer file okay the ai viewer file is a python file made by me okay and what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop that file in ai tutorial which is a big folder tracking and you're gonna bring it to ai viewer so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna download the file so as you can see over here you're gonna download the file and bring it to as it says so it says um the ai tutorial tracking so tracking and then you're gonna throw it in here just like this okay cool now next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create a folder called resources so just like i have over here so inside of the tracking folder you're gonna have a folder called resources so do that right now okay and uh, you also have this folder called instructions over here okay um just like that all right so this folder just get, tells you what to do basically all right cool so after you have done all of this um th this part over here is just explaining to you uh, this portion over here 6.2 is explaining to you what the um, ai viewer is supposed to be doing and what CUDA is and all of that okay and then over here we have the pycharm terminal okay getting the right torch version this is very very important uh and i'm gonna go through it now so first of all let's actually begin by opening pycharm now to clarify you do not need to use pycharm but we are going to be using PyCharm because it's very easy to organize everything in PyCharm and it's very easy for you. It, it, PyCharm just makes your life easier. It's an IDE, okay? So it contains a bunch of like different like um, tools to make your life as a developer much easier and my life easier too. So let's go ahead and open PyCharm. All right, cool. So when you open PyCharm for the first time, you're going to click on File open and then you're gonna bring it to the ai tutorial folder okay just like i have it over here as you can see i have the ai tutorial folder and i have everything inside of it just like that okay cool so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the tracking folder right here you're gonna click on ai viewer you're gonna open it click twice and then you can see a bunch of different things okay but you can see there's a problem here it says no python interpreter configured for the project however it also says create a virtual environment using requirements.txt but you probably don't have this option and the reason why you don't have this option is because you need to download one more thing from my discord so go back to my discord right now and what you're going to download okay is you're gonna go down here a lot you're gonna go down a pretty good amount here okay and you're gonna look for this text file over here which says requirements.txt okay and this video that i'm recording right now is gonna be here by the way Anyways, so requirements.txt, you're going to download it, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to bring it to the big folder, AI tutorial. You're going to just throw it right in here, okay? Just like this. So this is what you should have. You should have PUBG, resources, tracking, training, and requirements. That's what you should have, okay? Again, inside of resources, you should have these. Inside of tracking, you should have these three things right here, okay? Make sure you have the exact same. And inside of um, the tracking... So inside of tracking, inside of resources, you should have your model, okay? Your .pt file that you downloaded uh, on the last training session, okay? 
So you should have that inside of tracking resources. Okay, you should have that in there. Okay, cool. Now let's go back to Python once again. So now um, you should be able to see this little option right here, this highlighted option saying create a virtual environment using requirements.txt. Okay, now if you don't see, I recommend that you restart PyCharm and then click on the AI viewer once again and then you should be able to see it. What you're going to do is you're going to click on create a virtual environment. Now, as you can see over here, I have a problem. So of course, PyCharm doesn't really tell you that what the problem is until you actually select, like, until you actually highlight each one of these boxes. The problem here is that this specific location, this folder AI tutorial is not empty. And of course it is not empty. We can see here that we have PUBG, resources, tracking, and training. So what we're gonna be doing is something that, um, it's like a walk around basically. What you're gonna do is you're gonna actually go to that folder AI tutorial. So you're gonna go to your desktop real quick. So let me click cancel. So as you can see right here on my desktop, I have a folder called AI tutorial, which is a folder that contains everything, right? Okay, cool. What you're gonna do is you're gonna create another folder with whatever name you want to create okay so i have another folder here called ai copy i'm gonna get everything from this folder and bring it over to the other folder cool so now we should go back to Python. okay we are now gonna be able to create our virtual environment so let's go to file settings python interpreter click on the settings button right here and then click add and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on new environment so virtual env so it's a virtual environment new environment and you're going to bring it to the location of that big folder the ai tutorial folder okay and then uh, the base interpreter is going to be 3.9 so again you need to make sure they have python 3.9 for this okay click ok and then it's going to create the virtual environment and there you go so you just wait a little bit and click ok and now you can see over here the ai tutorial folder now has a bunch of different options it has lib and scripts cool so now what we can do is we can go back and we can copy everything back from AI copy from the different folder and bring it back to AI tutorial. So now just to confirm, make sure that you have the same thing I do. So you should have all these things inside of your AI tutorial folder. Okay. So now let's go back to, again, if you're having problems with creating a virtual environment and doing what I'm doing right now, you need to search up on Google on YouTube, how to do with them. Okay. Because that means that could be a, just a technical problem or you could just be doing something wrong. Now let's go back to PyCharm. If we go back to PyCharm now, we can see all these folders over here. We're going to go back to tracking, click on AI viewer. Okay. And then over here, okay. We have everything we need. Okay. Now, if we try running this right now, so let me just click on run AI viewer. Okay. It doesn't work because we don't have the modules that we need to have installed. Okay. And that's annoying, but we're going to get it together. So let me just click on edit configurations and make sure I'm using the correct one. I am perfect. So what we're going to be doing is very simple. We're going to be going to requirements.txt. Now, what should happen is at the top over here, PyCharm should tell you that you don't have the required uh, modules. Do you want to install it? It should ask you that. Now, sometimes as you can see right now, it's, it, it's not asking me that question. Okay. For some weird, for some weird reason. And that's okay. So if that's not happening, it could be because of two different things. So if you don't see the highlight, the little yellow box saying, um, up package requirement and you need to download a bunch of different things it's because you might have a, a problem so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to file you're gonna go to settings you're going to go to editor okay and you're going to click on i believe it is um let's see here uh inspections let me see if i can find inspections real quick um inspections right here I don't know why they don't have an alphabetical order. And then you should look for this thing, unsatisfied package requirement. Okay. And make sure that that's checked just like that. Okay. So, perfect. So make sure that's checked and then click OK. Now, after you do that, a, a box should pop up for you. Okay. It should pop up for you. Okay. Now, just make sure that um, you also have one more thing. So after you have done that, if the box did not pop up, it's probably because you have, you are reading this file in reader mode. Over here, you can see it says reader mode, exit reader mode. Okay. Now, um, you, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this. So you get out of reader mode and now it's telling me to download all the requirements. So then I'm going to click on install requirements. Now it's going to take me a little bit of time. It's going to take, um, a little bit of time to download all of this. So I'm just going to click install and then wait, but just keep in mind, just so you don't get, um, you know, keep in mind that you're probably not going to be able to download Torch and Torch Vision. 
okay? It's gonna give you an error. But if it doesn't, very good. But if it does, then it's okay. We're gonna be fixing the error later on. So click install. All right, so once you're done with everything, you shouldn't have any errors here. So as you can see, it says successfully installed Torch 1.8.0 plus CUDA 111, Torch Audio and Torch Vision. These are all specific modules at specific versions, okay? So you shouldn't have any errors. Everything should have worked fine. And you can actually, over here it says package requirements. You can now ignore requirements, okay? There you go. Now, what we can try to do now is try to run the application. So let's go back now to AI Viewer. Okay, over here. Okay, AI Viewer is inside of tracking. So let's go inside of tracking. AI Viewer right there. And now we can try running the application. So this is the entire application. Okay, it's only 84 lines, I believe. Yeah, 84 lines. 83 actually, if you don't count this. There you go. 83 lines, okay. And it's very easy to use, okay. So the first thing that's going to happen is as soon as you actually run the application, uh, it's going to call in this user input function, which is going to ask you two questions. It's going to ask you to say the name of the weight. Okay, which basically also means the, the location of it and the exit key you want to use. The exit key is the key you're going to be utilizing to, of course, exit. Okay, so let's do that right now. Now, keep in mind, very important, that our model, our weight, okay, model.pt is located inside of resources. Okay, which means that when we actually answer this question over here, we're going to have to indicate the resources folder. If you don't want to have to do this, you, you can just simply drag the PUBG model outside of the resources folder and inside of tracking, just like, just like so. Okay. It's up to you. I prefer to live inside of resources just because it, it's easier for me to remember and it's more organized. And then after you run all of these, it's going to get the wave name and the exit key, which is returned over here. And it's going to be using those two um, variables inside of the AI viewer for the creation of our objects for class. That's the viewer. Okay, cool. So let's actually try that right now. Let's run this file. AI viewer over here. Right click, run. It says name of weight without PT. So mine is inside of resource. So resources on um, PUBG 1.pt. Oh, not PT. No PT. Don't forget that. Don't forget to um, not have the extension. Just like this. Enter. Exit key P. And let's see if it's going to work. Let's see if we have any errors. So now we're getting an error that says no module named Torch Vision, although we just downloaded Torch Vision. Okay, if you go look inside of requirements, Torch Vision is in here. But let's actually check if it is actually installed. So let's go to Files, Settings, Python. We'll go to your project, AI tutorial. Go to your Python interpreter, and over here you're gonna type um, over here. You're gonna click on any one of these um, modules, and then you're gonna type T O R C H Torch, and look for Torch Vision. As you can see, Torch Vision is not here, which clearly tells us that it did not download Torch Vision. So we're gonna download it. Now that's okay. So we're gonna just download Torch Vision in this specific version over here, which is 0.9.0. So how to do this is very simple. We're gonna click over here on this install. You're gonna type Torch Vision, exactly how it is. Specify version 0.9.0. Okay, and then we're gonna click install package. We shouldn't get any errors on doing this, but you might get an error. Okay. And then you're going to click OK. After you have done that, we're going to wait a little bit for the um, loading portion to be done. So over here, okay, we're going to run AI Viewer. Let's see if we get an error now. Okay, it's resources, PUBG1, and P is going to be my exit key. Let's see if we get any errors now. Okay, so this is not an error. Don't worry about it. So um, this, the YOLO V5 is going to automatically try to auto-update this. Okay. Um, so don't worry about this. It says attempting auto-update. And there you go. We didn't get any error in the end of everything. Everything is working fine. And we have the application open. And you cannot see it, of course. But basically, you should be seeing in your other monitor or you should notice that another page, a, a window open called Viewer on your computer. Okay. And I'm going to show you that. All right, so currently we have two things on the screen and I don't know if you can see very well, but one of them says AI viewer and the other one says monitor. Okay, so I'm going to actually open a PUBG video on YouTube. All right, so as you can see right now, I paused in a very good moment. So you can see right now that I'm currently in a video. Okay, you can see that I paused and you can also see that on the big portion of my screen, I have my monitor, but on the top left portion of my screen, I have the AI viewer. The AI viewer is drawing around, is drawing a box around the enemy or what it believes to be an enemy. 
and it has a confidence number next to it, okay? So that's how confident it is that's an enemy, okay? In this case, of course, we know that it's a friendly, but the AI, the AI, the AI does not know that yet, okay? So um, let's see here. There you go. So right now it doesn't detect, right? So that means that my model is not the best model. Again, if you train yours good enough, it's going to be better. Uh, my model is not that good, so it's not, the, it's not even detecting very well, okay? So it's detecting a few different things, such as weapons and things like that. Let's try going to a closer combat scenario here. Let's see if I can find anything. All right, so as you can see right there, it is detecting the, uh, the friendly on the right side, but it's also detecting some weird things, okay? So that's pretty much what it is, guys, okay? So we got everything to be working fine, okay? On the next portion of this video, we are going to be just solving a few different problems, okay, that could possibly arise. And um, one thing that you also want to make sure, so let me actually just close this off, the AI viewer. I can press P to close it off. Now, something that's very important that we're going to end the video at is you want to try to get CUDA acceleration to be turned on, okay? Um, if CUDA acceleration is off, it means that it's going to be using your CPU to process all the data instead of your GPU. And that's going to definitely um, slow down your computer, like drastically. Your CPU will be a 99% usage. So, on the next video, we're going to be trying to solve this problem. The next video is going to be a very short video, um, basically focused around solving this specific problem, which is a good acceleration problem, all right? Anyway, so now we got everything to be working, so thank you very much for watching this video, okay? And I'll see you next video.